Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, Magic Fan, long time no see. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we've got some uh, gameplay to do, some uh, comic talk, crack a pack, photos, whatever's on the agenda. But we'll get started with all of that. I need to check my cameras just to make sure everything's visible. How are you doing there, Mark? Everyone in the stream. Um, let's just check our camera. So the amazing cam looks pretty good. Full screen cam looks pretty good as well. You can see my magic shirt right there. Web browser cam looks good. When we need to get online. Card cam. Uh, that can be brightened up a little bit. We have a crack-a-pack of the latest and greatest set. So let's... We'll crack that a little bit later. Phyrexia all will be one. And then... The game is over there. Actually, I think I want to brighten up my camera a little bit. Uh, and also... Hopefully it's just allergies, but I do feel a little off, and hopefully it's nothing to worry about, but I do feel congestion and the like, so it's probably just allergies. I did take an allergy med earlier, so hopefully it's just that, and we'll be okay. So... Uh, we've got some gameplay to do. The... I let these build up for a little t a little while. I thought I was online more recently, but we've got the... We've got that. So, hey, welcome back. Just uh, starting up my stuff. You haven't missed anything. Just checking my cameras and i was saying that it's probably just allergies hopefully it isn't anything um anything too bad hey there angle how are you doing so hopefully it's just allergies and nothing worse but feeling a little off but i think we'll be okay we can still do some gameplay and crack a pack and and look at comics and whatever so I think it'll be just fine. All right, so I've got a, um, I've got some dailies to do there. Uh, let's see, cast 20 red or green, or cast 20 white or green, or cast 20 black or red. All right, so I'm definitely keeping the black. Did you see the deck? Uh, oh yeah, we might actually uh, pull that up and, and see about working on it. I had the idea to make a deck as well. So, um... Well, we can pull that up, perhaps. So for the moment, I got to get this gold. So I'll keep this black. I'll keep this white. This one's red or green. Let's shuffle that one and see if we get... Okay, we got a blue or red. Okay, so we got a lot of colors we can play here. Black, white, or blue. I don't have any... Do I have a Demir deck? Well, I could play a Demir deck, but then I... Then I get the rewards too fast. Um, and so... Maybe if we play... Oh, we can play the Umezawa deck. We know that one destroys the opponent. So we'll play that one a little bit. Just if we just as if we can do some ninjutsu mechanics. We'll try to cheat in some huge creatures and the like. good overall except for this little bit of uh possible allergies just doing the usual stuff um can get i've been been getting back into photography i mentioned that on previous streams so i went out and took some photos recently 
Uh, we'll do a flash in this little pirate here. They'll never suspect. Guild opinion, who cares? I got a, I got a ghost pirate. And I um, guess it'd be safer to play that just in case I need black mana. So I've been out taking photos. Um, uh, I said uh, that I had rediscovered that I had a camera that I bought 10 years ago that I put in the garage that I didn't even remember I had. And so... Ooh, that's a big one. And so the... Um, Uh, da, 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 can't attack or block until you have seven lands. Okay, fine. So we'll try to see if we have our Sotoru um, out so that I can cheat in Torgar. Should I cheat in Torgar or cheat in Slinvoda? Probably Torgar, because that's going to be epic. All right, so they're going to do their own thing. Uh, yep, all right, so this will be devastating. Send in some unblockable creatures. Then cheat in Torgar. Damage the opponent for 10. Ooh, let's get an Ulamog in hand. And then we'll hit the opponent for 10 damage. And then that unblockable damage. So 17. That was 18 damage in one, in one swipe. And now Yarok. Okay, GG opponent. And then they realized it as well. So, yep. Yarok is pretty scary with a plus one counter and a freaking alchemy card, of course, annoying me. But we got uh, 17 damage out of Torgar. Famine Incarnate. And uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, apparently the time we spent with the Rekin Negative Beast <laughs> in Ivory. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Yes, well... You know, I have this. Uh, this I have this. Uh, this this guy that I know, Ed. Uh, he. This is amazing. We should get him on the podcast, uh, on on our series, on the series. Um, in terms of, he was a comic shop owner in the '90s during the time of the heyday of that whole. You know, the '90s. I think even even the '80s. On and off, he's had comic shops since then, uh, until maybe five years ago, and then he switched over to doing tax preparation. You know how that goes. Maybe maybe the day job. Do the day job. Um, and so he's pretty cool. He lives near here also in San Diego. And we were just talking earlier today. He was uh, well the only thing is he's he's a little he's a little less tech savvy than us. So uh, getting all three of us on a cool stream and all of that might be a little tricky, but I'll see if I can get him. But he, um, it's a mythic, what does that do, stuff, okay, so the, probably gonna do Urza next turn and be greedy, so we'll just take care of Urza, and so, um, yeah, he was talking about going to the local swap meet and being on the hunt for things. He got some books that were pretty cool. He's looking at some cool covers. Do you remember? Or do or ask Ivory? Um, oh, they're good gaming me. <laughs> um, the company Verotic. Uh, they were Glenn Danzig's, Glenn Danzig's company in the 90s. Um, and uh, they published some really cool books. Oh, man. They published some pretty cool books. In the 90s of like the heavy metal variety and the like okay they're gonna block here they've got one blue mana well the one blue mana what does this do search but against the creature cannot be blocked okay who cares so let's see if they block any of this I would recommend that you block this opponent one block don't want to lose your surge understandable
And now we got an 88 flyer. Yeah, I was browsing through your eBay listing. There are a lot of cool things. It's cool that you've got also the sort of like a run. <sighs> okay. They've, there's also a run of um, you're selling a few things that are runs, so that's pretty cool. And then the bee fairies. Yeah, I saw that one. It's funny how eBay nowadays, you get, they, won't leave, they won't even let you say that common English word, apparently. But that's a classic. I remember going to college and reading bee fairies off of Usenet. And it was like, what am I even reading? Is this even... Is this even allowed to be published? Come on, opponent. You got your thing to do there. Huh, interesting. They care about the... F okay. Uh, what about if you write the whole word, but then on the vowels, you put the um, asterisks? Now, what should we do here? Pay to life. A creature gets whatever until end of turn. Yeah, let's just wreck your... No, that's only minus one one. Um, I guess that we can draw a card off of that too. So I don't know, opponent. Unless you do a board wipe, they're probably waiting for a board wipe. They'll probably do a board wipe next turn. But then they also lose their own ornithopter. Tap whatever. Tap their. Oh, okay. Cups their service are blocked just to be. Huh. Well. You gotta play the, gotta gotta play by the rules. If you play on their playground, I've never sold anything. I've never sold anything, but um, on eBay. But I know that they can have their foibles. All right, opponent, you got got a bunch of things to block here. So they're going to take out Umezawa, but then we're going to flash in. How about a big old whale? An 8-8 eight, eight whale. So, pausing for priority because your surge engine could do stuff. Hey there, Stevie, how are you doing? Welcome. Trying to play some huge, scary creatures. And now the opponent is salty, and they are Darth Pompadour. I just noticed their name. I, I, I'm so bad, I never noticed the opponent's names. But Darth Pompadour is now going to be one with the Force. Because a huge whale, plus a huge demon plus a 1-1 one, one pirate is going to smack him. Urza, Lord, Lord Protector, couldn't protect him. So, we got a cracker pack. We will do... Phyrexia all will be one a little bit later. Gonna make myself a little drink after I play a little bit on the gold digging after the opponent... Um, as their temper tantrum, uh, build a deck or two. <laughs> the only ropers that I like is Mr. Roper. Now, who's old enough to remember that? Mr. Roper. Don't look it up. But uh, anyone remember Mr. Roper? That's the only roper that I like. So, yep. Yeah. Darth Pompadour uh, didn't, didn't have enough... Um, What's a classic, what's a classic um, hairstyle product that makes a cool pompadour? I use crew, but that's relatively modern. It's an old, old, how did, the, how did the chaps in the old days get their pompadours up? Maybe just chicken fat or something. All right, so we'll play that. We know that deck works. What I want to do is um, Aquanet. <laughs> I haven't had Aquanet. I haven't used Aquanet in so long. 
But that was definitely the thing to make your hair cool back in the day. We will play, how about some zombies? No, we'll play with some witches. Let's summon the coven. You're almost finished with your coding class of CSS and Oh, it's the short session one, huh? It was a fun short month session. Well, probably eight. Yeah, eight weeks or so. But had fun learning the language you're doing to continue practice both. Very good. Um, after that HTML, CSS, you got to do JavaScript. That one's the full semester. Um, I don't think Professor Gibson teaches it. I think someone else does. Prof I think Professor Gioven Gioveno, Giovengo. Uh, yeah, HTML. It's really cool. I was just talking. We just had an event at the college, at the college, where uh, the literal fetuses of high school came to uh, see what classes they might take in the future when they grow up, and. Uh, uh, you know, a youngster uh, was just made a beeline to my booth because my booth is the computer science booth and started to talk about, yeah, programming. I never thought about programming, but I just saw a YouTube video and I thought it was great. And I thought, yeah, programming. So I said, yeah, this is the programming section, programming department. And I said, it's really cool with programming that you write some code and then you make a thing out of it. You out of your own mind you do this programming you follow a um you follow you follow instructions like a recipe of sorts and then you you make something out of the code all right the opponent's playing very slow so far which is fine because joda is amazing and i don't have any removal so i'm just gonna have to do some shock and awe until hopefully no board wipe and then we can get out the hourglass coven. Oops, and that's fine. Yep. So when you play all the colors, uh, you need to have perfect mana. And apparently they didn't, so peace out. JavaScript sounds like a drawing of coffee. Uh, in the world, in the real world, in the real world of people, it is. But in the world of us nerds, uh, it is a programming language. It is one of the programming languages that holds the, the whole internet together, basically. Well, the web part of the internet. The internet's a big, big thing. But the, the web, the World Wide Web websites, basically every website has some kind of JavaScript, which is a, uh, and yes, it was based on Java coffee, or maybe even Java the uh, nation. Java's a country, right? Or is it a dependency or something? But it's a programming language. Yeah, that Joda card is, it's a storm. It's legendary storm, isn't it? And then they got Marwyn, so we're going to play some Elf Ball with the opponent. Cascading spreadsheets. Uh, close. You got two out of three out of that. But uh, I, I trick the, my students by saying, okay, HTML. This is going to be on the test. It stands for H. It stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And I say, okay, then CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. All right. Then we go to JavaScript. And JavaScript, of course, stands for just another very advanced. And then I stop and I say, just kidding. JavaScript doesn't stand for anything. But they believe it because I'm the instructor up there pontificating but javascript doesn't stand for anything it's just that they java was a language that existed before that and it was amazing and then so the people that or the group that invented java their next language thought okay let's borrow a cool name java is cool let's call ours javascript and that is some history. Oops, I should have attacked. No, never mind. So anyway, if they attack with their metallic mimic, I'll block it. Yeah, not only do I school them on Magic Arena, but I also school them at the local, at the two colleges that I teach at. So um, I have many talents. Um, taught. Yes, it was taught by Marianne. Yes, she is a very good teacher. Don't want to gloat, but she was my student, so I taught her everything she knows. Not really. I taught her everything I know, but and then she obviously learned more. <laughs> yeah, so 
Let me just show you this. Let me blow your minds. Let me switch over here to the web browser. So let's do this with Google. Um, Google website you might have heard of. All right. So by using um, by using advanced hacker techniques that you will see here, I will actually um, do some uh, magic trickery onto the Google website and hack their system uh, so that I can uh, do amazing things such as such as this. Ah, oh, come on, Google, you're making me look bad. Uh, okay, such as like this. There we go. See, there we go. I just hacked into Google somehow, and I changed the color of the Google website. Now it is purple. Actually, let's make it the official VM Campos color, which I forget what it is, but it's something probably is, uh, da, 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 something like that. What's my what's my official color? I gotta look it up. There we go. There's the official VM Campos color, and now I'm gonna hack Google so that so that um, <laughs> so that they're flying my colors not the uh not the google colors official vm campos colors um if your comic shop pops off now for our international uh for our international friends like mark who's over in new zealand mark what does what does it mean when you pop off in your neck of the woods so anyway if your comic shop takes off um you might have to commission a website LBS already, uh, Ivy, I, Ivy's already got a domain. Hmm. Well, speaking of domains, here's the Google website. We know about it. But did you know that I also own Google.com? I'm also the proud owner of Google.com. And I'll show you here. If you go to the website, G-G-G-O-O-O-G-G-G-L-L-L-E-E-E.com, Google.com, I own that website. And then so... That's it. That's that's the joke. I own Google.com. Although I, I pronounce it as G-Google-A-L-A.com. But I, uh, if you look at the... At the uh, registration of it, I own that. How do we get off on a tangent of coding over here, talking about coding and and the like? All right, back to some gameplay. Let's summon, let's summon some witches to give them some stitches with the um, with the power of black mana. We will summon a bunch of rats and newts and bats and rats and all that creepy crawly stuff. And then also the witches. Hmm. Guess my deck is too my deck is too witchy and it's not giving me any any good opponents. Uh oh, we got another Joda. I don't even know if this is the, the same opponent because, like I said, I'm so bad at looking at the opponent's name because we know we've got a Joda. Let's see. Do we get any removal? Yep, Doomblade. Actually, Doomblade's not going to work. Joda is all colors. Mm, yeah, we'll go for it. Oh, yeah, we'll do some shock and awe with a Nightmare Dog. And the next turn, we'll do a Nightmare Cat. After that, we'll do a Nightmare Skeleton. Oh, actually, what I want to do is summon that Imp, and then sacrifice it next turn and see, next turn and see what's in their hand. And hopefully, I pull some removal. Yeah, 
Ja tu onoké terimp. Don't look at that dog. Don't look at my dog. Oh, they're gonna <laughs> they're exiling that imp. Okay. That's a really strong spell for... Let's give him one of these. That was a pretty good move there. Such a powerful spell for poor little imp. Is Chandelar still around? No. You can. You have to play it emulated and you have to... Or on old hardware or... Or find a copy of it somehow online or something, but nope, Chandelar isn't isn't around anymore. It was a, well, it might have been a free download back in the day, but really, I, I, they had a lot less free games and stuff back in the day, so it feels like yeah, the opponent's falling behind. Another another Jota rage, another Jota rage quitter is coming up because if you don't have all your colors, you're falling way too far behind. And I'm going to have my sixth mana here. Oop, we got an Elias. Who cares? Let's do the Witch Coven. Hourglass Coven. Let's summon the sisters. Um, how about make them discard? And then make them mill. Yeah. They will love that. And yeah, go ahead and uh, block that 5-5 five five if you want. Oops, I should have attacked also with my... I should have attacked with my life gain creature. Then they would have had to have sacrificed their... 2-2. Two, two. Little mistake there. And they're like, never mind. The witches gave him stitches. You looked it up. You never uh, knew that the Mira Computer Game Magic uh, back in the day, the old Yu-Gi-Oh! CD-ROMs from the early 2Ks. Yeah, this was from the late 90s. Magic debuted in 93 and then sometime in 97 or something. There was a version of Magic. It was a little bit like the card game. But then also extra things, I believe. There was like a quest mode or something. And to my knowledge, it was stuck at the set, right? There, there wasn't a way to add more cards to it. Because obviously in Magic in the real world, we were getting new cards all the time. But then a, a computer game often wouldn't update. Correct me if I'm wrong. I never, I never actually played it, I, I think. Does that, does that sound kind of right? Yeah, and I think it even had, like, from that time, just like Mist, how it had all of these cutscenes of animation, right? Um, remind us, Mark, did we... Were they that advanced back in the day that they had cutscenes and stuff? So there's the new little character there. It's a fun little dancing Phyrexian spider. Kids love that, right? You make scary things, but you make them techno things too, right? The kids love that. Hey there, Rosla. How are you doing? It's been a little while. But welcome to the stream. We got an international consortium happening at the moment. We got Canada represented. We have New Zealand represented. If Felix joins, I think he's in England. Um, yep, still doing the magic stuff. We've got a crack a pack later on. Maybe we'll look at comics, photography, all that fun stuff. But for the moment, the opponent is playing a toxic, toxril deck, although it's not doing anything. But and they just tutored for something, so we'll see how that goes. What are my thoughts on the one ring cards? Okay, we want to keep the stream positive and I'm going to go into negativity when we start to talk about modern magic. I feel that magic is, for me, not the priority that it used to be. When I got back into magic in 2017, well, I played magic in the 90s and it was amazing and it was a great childhood memory and getting back in 20... Oops, actually, let's look at the opponent's hand first. When I got back into it in 2017, it was cool and new again. Ooh, yeah, let's get rid of that Meat Hook Massacre, definitely. And the, um, the game was cool and all of that, but I just feel nowadays it's just so oversaturated with... So many variations, so many products, so much corporate greed. It just, it doesn't, I'm not quite feeling it like I was just a few years ago. 
and so many overpowered cards, so many pushed cards. I'm still going to play Arena with y'all. I'm still going to play um, Commander with my live group. But I'm just not interested in Magic bef like it was before where, you know, your question there, I don't even know how to answer that. Like, I just heard today that there's going to be a one of one, the one ring, that one of this will exist in the whole world. Like, I, I don't care. It's the collectability, the collectability of it all has just gone over the top. So the variants, it was cool when they were during the time of you know, two years ago or so when they were, oh yeah, I'm so dead. I shouldn't have cast that when there were some variants, but then everything's a variant now. So again, I don't want to go too much into the ne negativity of it all. I'm going to open a cracker pack and we're going to have fun looking at it, but I'm just like, first of all, old man compos here. I don't even want Lord of the Rings in Magic. I don't want Street Fighter in Magic. I don't want Fortnite in Magic. I don't want The Walking Dead in Magic. None of that's Magic. And I know people can do what they want. And if people love that, great. I'm not telling you don't do this. But for me, Magic isn't The Walking Dead. Magic isn't Secret Layers. Magic isn't uh, um, Alchemy. Magic isn't the one, the, the Lord of the Rings. Um, so... That's just me being an angry old man. Um, but if people have an opposite um, experience that and are, and are looking forward to Frodo <laughs> in a magic deck, yay! If you're looking, if you're looking forward to Transformers in a magic game, yay for you. Although I just played someone with a Transformers deck and I hated it, so uh, your mileage may vary. My Little Pony. Um, it wasn't the real magic card. It was when they were doing the silver bordered magic cards, when they were not official magic cards that you had to play unsets. And I don't like that now unsets, some are real magic cards and some are not. And even though Mark Ro Rosewater hates that word, I do have to say it that way that it's not the My Little Ponies. Fine. It wasn't a real magic card. You couldn't play it on regular formats. The Walking Dead is a real magic card. You can play it in real formats. The Transformers is a real magic card. You can play it in real formats. It's just me being elitist and all of that, but I don't know. That's that's my long-winded opinion on all of that. So sorry, let me read all your messages here. Well, I got people on, on YouTube and, and, and Twitch, and it's all, it's all good wherever you want to chat from, wherever you want to give your bits from. Ha ha ha. But anyway, let's try to deal with this opponent. Hopefully they don't have a counter for this. No counter. Bye-bye, Troxy. Uh, doing, yes, I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, I'm not the only one. Modern magic is the way of Yu-Gi-Oh. The one Yu-Gi-Oh turn kill. Yeah. Not, not loving that. There's always been cool combos, but doesn't it really feel that it's just so combo, combo-y nowadays? Well, I don't know. Not even combo-y, just overpowered. They don't wait 5 to 10 minutes match. They want 30 second Yu-Gi-Oh matches. Sometimes it feels like that. That's why the decks that I play... See right here, we've been playing a nice leisurely amount. But um, if you're playing the ladder, if you're playing standard... Can we give them an oops over here or are they going to rage quit? Platinum Angel is on, is on board next turn for them. But by then, I'm going to have the Doom Blade, possibly. Land. They're good gaming me now, so okay. They tutored for a um, Meat Hork Massacre. They'll probably pay, pay the 7 now for Platinum Angel, but I got an answer. Uh, you've been enjoying Fortnite be, being a nice break. Fortnite, the game on its own, I think it's cool. Uh, it's it's pretty fun and wacky and all of that, but I gotta then be, you know, angry man, angry angry old man yelling at clouds. I don't want Fortnite in my magic. The price of pre-sale orders are outrageous. Again, that's another thing that kind of turned me off for physical magic at the moment. 
that I'm just not buying physical products. Like when it was ninety nine dollars for a, for a box, cool. Now it's one. Then it became one one ten, one fifteen, one twenty. I don't even know how much they are nowadays. Over a hundred, definitely a hundred and twenty, hundred and fifty. I don't even know. I'm just not buying. The last box of magic that I bought was Kamigawa. Uh, neon dentistry and that was a year ago me and stevie went habsies uh oh what am i ha what's happening what overpowered card is hitting me here seven conjure duplicates for each of these whatevers blah 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 those cards blah 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 spin mana whatever blah 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 and then if x is five or more put one of them onto the battlefield okay i guess they're copying all my stuff and putting one of them onto the battle oh they're also stealing my they're also stealing my um lotus i guess guess that's not great but they did pay a million mana so i guess free lotus uh they're taking my own eye twitch fine you can't use it yet though taking my own skeleton fine and anything else malkin sure and one more mana for nothing sure all right um Let's draw a card. Then we will learn a way that witch. Then a land. Okay. Well. Got the coven out. That's the dream of this deck. Um, yeah, let's have them discard and discard. And Malkin needs to be double, double blocked. They're tapped out, so let's attack with that, and then I guess eat something. Which is why you hardly pre-order anymore. I used to back in the day. Only time you ever do nowadays is it's a set that catches your complete interest. Do you want that my little pony? At least for Fortnite, it's just a secret layer, not a whole set. Yeah. Uh, it was... It, that's the thing that... Okay, this is what I will then say. When it is a skin, as the kids call them in other games, if it was a skin, then I guess I kind of can live with that. But... When it is an original card that is sought after, it um, turns me off because it's like you are making... Like, the, the Walking Dead cards, they're not going to have the license forever. When Walking Dead is like, yeah, let's go with a different approach. We didn't get our return on investment. People hated the magic, the Walking Dead magic cards. So the um, So the thing with all of that is the the skins i'll live with them being skins but not original cards all right so we got the we got the gold for that um i'm gonna i'm gonna make a little drink and then we'll get more of the gameplay and more of this discussion going on one moment it's all gimmicks to try and make the money because their stock is so far in the tank if they don't do this their business is going yeah hasbro is really relying on Watsy to be their billion dollar baby and everything else is flailing so they gotta whip those they gotta get that blood out of that stone that is wizards of the coast and then we suffer with endless products and gimmicks and the like you're worried if the lord of the Rings sells unlike the last set you know it'll change the future so they're already doing it unfortunately S supposedly the community hated the walking dead but supposedly it sold well whatever their metrics are and you know I love the game, but you never want to trust a corporation, even though there's, you know, nice people, whatever, behind the corporation. But they claimed that The Walking Dead sold well, even though the community hated it. And that was then causing more of these secret layers, the Street Fighter stuff, the Transformers stuff, you know, Transformers in the Brothers War. So, as they were, the horse is out of the barn. It's, it's already, they've already been doing it. Uh, you're charging, you're charging me up. Uh, good game magic, don't one sided matches. 410 for the Lord of the. Really? 410 for just the one box? Is that like a, the special collector's box or is that the most basic type of box? 
or the collectors. 180 New Zealand dollars for a booster. Got we'll check the conversion. Imagine the pricing has all to do with which IP. That might be true. Which IP is is part of it all might also affect their pricing. Yeah, the Godzilla supplements of Ikoria makes a good point. That's why you don't do modern, you do historic brawl. Still use your showdown. Now, what do you think when eventually on Arena we get... Uh, not... Well, we got... They're, they're trying to eventually do modern on, on Arena, but they're doing Pioneer, which is modern light, light, light. Or not, no, they're not trying to go to... My, they're not trying to go to modern. They're trying to go... They're trying to go to Pioneer. Explorer, that's the thing. They got way too many names for these things. They're trying to do Pioneer. So what do you think of Pioneer, which is everything past, I don't know, 2012 or something? Plus no fetch lands. The game went to hell after War of the Spark. Well, that was the that was the big one where they were definitely trying to um, pump it all up with so many planeswalkers and the like in one. In one, uh, we got a we got a breaking news here of a price of all of this four hundred forty nine dollars. Yeah, let's take a quick look at this. Thanks for that. Let's take a quick look. Uh, Breaking news, Universes Beyond, The Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-Earth, Collector, Booster Box, The Lord of the Rings, blah, 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 pre-sale, unopened. This is coming from TCG, so it's a real price. So yeah, pre-order the... How many boosters are on this anyway? Didn't they stiff us out of uh, like six boosters or something in the latest uh, boxes? may include serialized ring card. Oh, you gotta love that lawyer ease on, on our on our favorite games. Yep, so that's pretty amazing. Uh, you see the video about all the unopened packs found? Yes, I saw that. I saw uh Pleasant Kenobi's take on it. He's a cool he's a cool uh channel. Yeah, they found uh, a bunch of uh destroyed uh, magic cards in a dump and uh on the latest unset in there and what else was in there uh the big one was the un unfinity um and even a few others of the real sets so that was interesting uh they only said it sold well because they are buying their own boxes with their stock However, the however the accountants do it, but they claim this stuff is selling. Uh, it's like movies; they will flood reviews with tens and fives just to look good. Yep. Who knows what shenanigans they do to keep their corporate overlords happy? All right, so let's take a little break. I'm gonna make myself a little drink, and we'll play a little bit more magic in a little moment.
I guess I never muted myself. All right, well, everyone, welcome back. Uh, got my drink for the night over here. Let's see if this helps or hurts the gameplay. And we'll get back to the gameplay. Um, all right, let's switch decks. Uh, do a blue deck for a moment. So let's catch up on some chats here. Screenshot. Let me see that second screenshot. Okay, so that's the breakdown of what's in the set. Well, and again, I think it's kind of complicated what they do nowadays. I, I've been getting these set boosters to open up because they're fun and exciting. But for like what's in them, they have to explain every single time what's in a booster because they just change things up so much all the time. Um, oh, yeah, the, there's a new D&D movie coming out. I'm still thinking of the old D&D movie with one of the Waynes brothers. He was in one. He was he was the thief or something. I don't know a rogue or something. That's the last Dungeons and Dragons movie I remember that debuted, and that was what fifteen years ago at least. Uh, the D and D movie looks fun in a B B movie type of way. Could be. Yep. That's there's many ways that a movie could do well, or could be fun for people. Uh, it's hard after the stunts they pull with the open. Yeah, the OGL that. Uh, it it took a a leaker to change change their hand, alter their course because yeah that the OGL was gonna be pretty bad. All right, well I know that that card is good. Let's see, do we have enough mana? One, two, three. Yeah, let's do the optimal play here. Bounce that back. You liked casting it. You can cast it again. Surveil into that. I like that, but I need mana first. Thank you. You thought that the open GL bit was going to be what broke the camel's back. It was certainly looking like it was over. At the very least, they walked it back, so there's that. But uh, Missing a land drop. Okay, well... Let's set ourselves up here. You've already lost. Deception is key. And then missed another land drop. Okay. Well, hopefully I get my next land drop and then three, four, five, six. And then if they cast their Goshen Tai and I get my sixth land, I will have a brand new shiny Goshen Tai of life's origin in my possession. Starfield Mist. Haven't seen this little buddy in a long time. Enchantments cost one less. Ooh, that's pretty good. Well. It was pretty good. Actually, why don't we just take an extra turn first? Yeah, let's take an extra turn. Let's, let's see. If, let's see if this. We'll attack with full open mana, and and then we'll pretend like we're shuffling our cards. So we'll we'll, we'll give the opponent some false signals that we're shuffling our cards because he's got an amazing combat trick. I will then attack. Let's see if they take the bait. Exactly. They saw me rifling through my cards, and they thought they must have a combat trick, which I didn't. I have a main combat trick and we get an extra turn yum then how about we steal their land is that vicious enough yeah let's steal Always their land um what's what should we steal let's steal that triome i always wanted to some real estate what does the card do let me read it five times yep and then, to add insult to injury, let's bounce back your only thing and amass. This is vicious. I probably should have saved that steel for their Goshentai, but... <laughs> Stick. So what do we want to do here? Well, we can pump in a bunch of mana to... Let's see if they fall for it again. Uh, I'm going to attack with the... With this everything. Handy. Although I could put the Ominous Seas out and release the Kraken, but... And they'll block that. Fine. Didn't believe me. 
We'll keep up a million blue mana open. Maybe to make them think twice. Should I pause right here to make them think I've got a counter spell? Will they rage quit before I play my fake counter spell? Spoiler alert, I have no counter spells in this deck. They use up Michiko's Reign of Truth. Sure. Give it a plus one. Oops, that's actually a lot. Okay, fine. I'm going to take out my Jace. Fine. How about I draw a bunch of cards? All right, let's draw a bunch of cards. Fortunately, I won't have to remember this. And then I also get my card draw of the turn. Amazing. There we go. And so what I will use with all my millions of mana is how about a Blue Sun's... This is, a, this is the first time I play the Blue Sun's Twilight. What does it do again? Gain control of target creature with whatever. If X is five or more, create a token that's a copy. Oh, that's not going to do anything because it'll be a legendary copy. So, yeah, that's fine. I'll still take your... Um, still take your Goshintai. So, one, two, three, four. Keep our mana open for some bounce effects. Or I could just bounce back again. Yeah, let's just do it now. Um, no. Well, that she. Shigeki doesn't do anything good, does it? Return this to its whatever, reel the top cards, whatever, put a card... Yeah, let's bounce that back, too. That'll be annoying. Got plenty of mana. Got an opt. Give your little shrine plus three. Sure. My little shriny. Ooh, Hydra's Growth. That's pretty nice. I will enjoy stealing that creature. I drink your milkshake. Oh, we'll just exile it. Two mana left. Honden. Pretty good. Ah, let's get rid of the Honden. I hate that card. Then let's bounce that mystic. Learn a thing or two. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Let the beat down commence. This goes into chapter three. Portrait of Michiko gets plus one for each other artifact, which is worthless at the moment. Winds of Rebuke. In hand, depart in hand. Ah, Winds of Rebuke might be better, might be meaner, because it's got a little mill in it. Shock, Sanctum, sure. Two mana left for another Sanctum. Deals X damage, they're tapped out. All right, all that's pretty annoying. Um... Why do we bounce back? Make mana or do damage? X damage based on the number of shrines. Yeah, let's bounce that back. And mill them too. No attacks. The red one, yep. Ooh, we can Slinvoda. <laughs> let's Slinvoda here. I love playing a kick Slinvoda. Let's do this then. Okay, attack with everything. They'll probably double block and get their Goshintai back, I guess. Don't care. And then I kick Slinvoda. Hmm. No, we'll see what they do. If they block everything, I'll, maybe I'll wait for Slinvoda next turn and then bounce everything back with the fishies. Yeah, they want their commander back, of course, but with Slinvoda. Um. Play 
chase for no reason. Just to have a target, I guess. Got a bounce spell. Yeah, definitely the shrine stick can get out of control if you let it. If they get the, the gold shrine, what is that one? The shrine of all things or whatever it's called? If they get one of those, that's a big... Ooh, sandworm conversions. That's a that's a bad one. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, create a worm. But depart will take care of that. <sighs> this guy keeps getting summoned over and over. One day. Let's see if they... Yeah, they're going to send Michiko at Jace by herself. That's fine. Mm, I could save Jace, but that doesn't really matter. Um, I should... Well... If they tap out... Hmm, I can bounce back the worm that they're going to create, but it's probably better to get rid of the Convergence permanently. 9, 10, 11. I have 11 mana. I could crack my Mind Stone... Yeah, that's fine. Jace was just a target. False target. Yeah, let's... I want to get rid of it permanently, but all I can do for the moment is bounce it. Oops, actually... Uh, I didn't put a, a, a chapter stop. I didn't put a chapter stop, so I wanted to bounce it before they summoned one. Thank you, Arena. Um... Still gonna make it even if I bounce it, but that should have had a chapter stop for me to do it before it got to that point. Well, five mana, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, we'll just force them to rebuild. Yeah, let's let them. Let's let them get their Goshintai back. Who cares? But then I'll summon a really big <laughs> triple blocking or whatever. Who cares? Finally get rid of that Sh Shigeki guy. Get their Goshintai back. Put a plus one. Who cares? Kick Voda. So now you got nothing. You got to rebuild. So replay your... Little guy. But then that's... Okay, they went for it that way. Fine. Then they... No land drops, so they'll make another shrine. Nothing. Okay. Ah, and I didn't want that. Okay. Well, they're going to chump block with one. Not great. And now the Goshintai can bring stuff back from the graveyard, so... Mm, if I didn't get that bad land drop... Tables might turn here. Just because it isn't real doesn't mean it won't kill you. All right, so they're going to rebuild. Got to top deck something good. That's a good one. Attack Chase, got a blocker, come on, I gotta top deck something good or I'm dead. That's not good, but maybe, Scry, uh, that's alright. I guess the big idea is just to steal their Goshen Tai, so okay, thanks for attacking. And, um, Rasher, that's not gonna do much. Um, it's gonna just block with a 1 1 so that doesn't do anything. They're gonna send Chase back to the Forbidden Zone. Can I do the Goshintai? No, it requires all the colors. And now they got the Sandworm, and now that's making tokens. Yeah, I guess we're dead. But it took a while. 
can triage what went wrong at some point, but it just... Um... So I need the uh, River's Rebuke here. Come on, uh, come on, Arena. Give me that good luck. Give me that River's Rebuke. What else could save me here? Uh, what else is in my deck? I definitely need the River's Rebuke. Nothing else will save me here. Merit Lage at 2020. That's too late. So, all right, opponent. GG. I would have accepted an extra turns spell or a um, River's Rebuke. So we got the gold for the blue deck. Cool. Let's switch over to a white deck for the final gold digging. Play the white artifact deck. Once you're finished with making your arcade game, comma, I'm going to try and create my own card game with next. I was just thinking about that. Um, I was watching a channel, Legal Eagle, on YouTube. He's a really cool lawyer, real life lawyer. And he had recently a video about the Wizards or the Hasbro OGL and explaining what it's all about and such. He was going into very good detail about how there are trademarks and copyrights and the like. And then so the thing with that is that you cannot apparently protect a set of rules, which is good and bad, of course. For us that want to make a game that's similar to magic, the U.S. law doesn't allow for them to lock down a set of rules which is then how are they able well yeah it's a complicated lawyer lawyer thing but what's going on is that based on Uh, knowing some of that, you can you can make a game that is close to magic without using any of the magic material, and you're legally okay. But that doesn't stop that doesn't stop the lawsuit. It means you're you're legally okay, but still they could take you to court about this is too similar. And then what happens is that they. Uh, you know, do a shakedown lawsuit where it drag you through the court system rather than doing anything productive. All right, let's see here. What do we want to do? So play the two mana artifact. Go grab a land, crack that, and trade it for... What do we want? I guess just more mana. We'll go get a good old Celestus. I can crack the... Fountain. Draw a card. I have going to get plenty of mana for a Meteor Golem soon enough. Semblance, Anvil, Imprint, whatever. Ooh, they're reprinting Imprint on Arena, huh? Um, you may exile and non-land, blah, blah, blah. Spells you cast to share. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Okay, I got to get rid of that. So enchantments cost less. Fine. Four, five, six, seven. I have seven mana. Okay. Well, uh, that's even better. Let's just affordably get rid of that. Whoops. And then they're... <laughs> Two mana to win the game. Did you all know that? There's a secret way to play, ma play magic and defeat your opponent with two mana. <laughs> um, planning on it. When putting it on Steam, put out a free demo. That's really cool. Do you have a name for it? Its code name is Deliberate Planet. That's pretty cool. It might change as you go further. Thank you. So yeah, Deliberate Planet sounds cool. It's got a lot of, um, you know, it's got the keyword planet, uh, which can conjure a lot of thoughts in a game. And then also... Uh, hey there, uh, Trasher Player 69. 
Welcome. You beat two people today by milling your own deck to zero, then drawing a card. Amazing. So I love those games where the random stuff can happen. The unexpected. You're planning on adding story to it and a couple more levels before deciding how big you want it to get. Start small, because the game will never be finished if you have a huge idea. Uh, take it from me, I thought of a game 15 years ago that I was working on for a while, and then I never really finished because it got out of scope. So, um, have, uh, have, have boundaries, have limits, or else you, uh, you'll never complete it. You can always add to it. Tiamat. This is often a very hard deck to deal with with my deck. So don't I don't want to be pessimistic on turn one, but I don't expect to win this. But we'll see. If I get something like if I can get bol if I can cheat out Bolus of Citadel, I might have a chance. But be besides that. They're playing very slow. That bringing out that Immortal Sun would be good too. But I'm trying to cheat in the... Um, I'm trying to cheat in Bolus... Not Bolus of Citadel. Uh, God Pharaoh statue. Statue to Bolus. If I can cheat that out, I can really mess with them. But Command Tower. Yep. Uh, Command Tower slash... Uh, Arcane Signet are those uh, commander-only cards that really affect. And then we got uh, we got a little creature there, a mana dork. Okay. Um, I know Aetherworks Marvel can do cool things when stuff dies, but. I'm trying to ramp up through the ramps, so let's break that. That also ramps me into five mana. Uh, yeah, how about a meteorite? Paradox Engine's better, but how about we meteorite that? Uh, what am I running right now? This is a build of my own creation. It's a mono white artifact. Ooh, quite a spike. I love that card. It's a mono white. Hold on one moment. Let me mess with. Let me ruin this opponent's life here. This is a mono white artifact deck with Oswald just playing with artifacts, just going up the chain of, um, going up the chain of amazingness, uh, trading one artifact for something else, and then just cheating artifacts in and just doing fun degenerate stuff. Like right there, I got a boluses. And here's what I'll do here. Okay, here's here's the really vicious part of it. Ooh, Lotus Cobra, I hate you. All right, here's the vicious part of this deck. I'm gonna tax them so hard, I'm gonna do two boluses, sit at a, do boluses statues in one turn. Just one moment. One into two. Okay, I need a two mana artifact to really make this work. I will double tax them. That's not what I need. That's what I need. Okay, watch this. This is vicious. Uh, pay one mana for this gargoyle, whatever. Make it do the thing, whatever. Gain life, who cares. Then, crack that to get me a three mana thing. And the three mana thing that I want is the mirror box, which negates the legendary rule for me. Cool. Now, let me cast a Sculpting Steel to copy my legendary boluses, whatever. And I, everything that they cast costs four to cast. So... So then it's also doing two damage to them at the end of every turn. Everything costs four mana for them to cast now. Oops, actually, they can ca they can attach the Quietus Spike. Guess I gotta deal with that. Uh, lose half their life, round it up. Okay, fine. We gotta deal with that. Oh, I know how. Um, we'll deal with it via... Ooh, Fabled Passage into 
Lotus Cobra. Wow, I hate that. Um, we got a little smiling smirk from our Vorthos. Our Vorthos avatar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight mana, but they need to cast... <laughs> they need 14 mana to cast their commander. Is that right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, they need 11. Math. Anyway, don't let that mana slip through your fingers. They left. They let it slip through their fingers. Okay. They're moving on to combat. They didn't attach the quietest spike. Okay. Fine. They're passing with blue mana open. Okay. Fine. Ah oh, man, we gotta pass this. Ah, who cares? I don't really. I don't need that to block. All right. Here we go. So <laughs> they had to pay. Three, four, five. They have to pay six mana to cast a pacifism. Love it. As for myself, let's um, get rid of that cobra. Scry into who cares. Let's then crack the... Fountain, get some card draw going on here. Oh, how about a planar bridge? Thank you. Land drop, sure. We'll save that zero mana for a rainy day. And then again, taxing them for four mana for anything that they need to do. Yeah, no action on their turn because everything costs four more mana. Oh, Meteor Golem. Yeah, fine. We'll keep Golem. Draw double from that sun. You know, this is going to be the vicious thing here. Um, do I have enough mana? Seven, eight, nine. I need nine mana. Nine mana. I can destroy a land. That'll be seven, eight, nine. I have nine mana. I have nine mana. Okay, so two mana to cast a reduced cost artifact. Seven mana to destroy a permanent such as your best land. Aetherworks Marvel. Two damage from Bolus. Uh, this playmat is the Eldraine. This is the Eldraine one. Okay, well, so what do I want to do here now? Um, the world is my oyster. All right, well. How do I win the game? Okay, let's... Um, let's cheat out the... Paradox Engine. Draw a card off of... Oops, I should have played Oswald first. Draw a card off of that. Then... Let's... Crack this Echor Wellspring. Draw a card off of that. Play a cost reduction critter, or no, the cloud key will reduce things nicely. Artifacts. Then play some zero mana artifacts. Crack the two mana into three. Keep doing the marvel. What do we want? How about a draw card? Nice. Then how about we draw another card off of that? I need my, uh, I need the Aether works, the Aether something or other to um, gain life and zap them. Aether Flux Reservoir. How about a Gilded Lotus? How about a million more mana? Sure. And then they're done. There we go. That's what that deck does. Meteor Golem, destroy target non-land permanent. 
And what I love to do is I cast the Meteor Golem, destroy their thing or whatever. Better yet, have a Panharmonicon. Triggered effects happen twice. Have a Panharmonicon out, Meteor Golem destroys two things. Then play the Sculpting Steel to copy the Meteor Golem and then do it two more times. But I copied, I used the Sculpting Steel to copy the God Pharaoh. All their opponent's spells cost two mana. Well, one is bad enough. All my stuff costs two mana. How about two of them? Now, all your stuff costs four mana. And you see here, they pacified my Oswald. Who cares? Can't attack or block? Who cares? Oswald is doing his magical tinkering trick to cycle through all the artifacts that I need. And what did I end up with? Planar Bridge, go get anything out of my deck for eight mana. Um, Immortal Sun, everything costs one less. And I draw two cards. And then I got the Cloud Key, all artifacts cost one less. Uh, so some artifacts were costing zero. Then I got the Paradox Engine, untap all my stuff. Well, non-lands. Every time I play anything with zero mana, I'm I'm creating mana from from the from the air. I had four mana that I was getting out of. I played zero mana artifacts to create mana. <laughs> oh, you got to go to bed, okay? No worries. You're over on the East Coast time, right? Thanks for coming by. We're gonna do. Hey, everyone, before you leave, um, Angle and I and Ivory have a uh, comic book podcast comic book series that's coming soon remind us angle when is the next episode coming up so that everyone can uh come and hang out with us and talk about comics what day did we decide the 20 something probably next saturday or something whatever the day was so i'll put it on the discord but uh we're gonna do a crack a pack of uh comic books with angle and ivory the 25th and so everyone come on by put your um I don't know, does Twitch let us do that? Well, you're on YouTube, so go ahead and put your link if you want. So we'll go go follow her, and uh, we'll also, um, we'll also uh, promote it on the Discords, but we're going to talk about comics soon enough. So let me just catch up a little bit on people's chats here. Six people watching on YouTube. Yeah, I, I totally appreciate that. Everyone coming to stand... Check out magic. Uh, catching up on the chats. Uh, that's pretty nasty. GG. Very smart pinning their Tiamat to their command zone. Exactly. When that gets out, it's it's a it's trouble. They played very slowly, so that was a good good for me. It let me get the Bolus's statue out, tax them, then it let me duplicate it tax them double and this is never cast it. I'm sure they had some amazing dragons that were going to wallop me but I just locked them down. This is one of the best stacks decks that I think might be on Arena. Uh, it is very combo-y and you saw on my side of the board. Look at their side of the board. They have nothing on their side of the board. And me, I got all my trinkets here and I was going to eventually Aetherworks Marvel spin into something free. I can go get any permanent that I want with the planar bridge. I got the immortal sun. Like this is way too degenerate when it works. Uh, pretty nasty deck. Yep. Uh, take care. Sleep well. Uh, we'll check the time in a minute. Would you like to face my deck? Yeah, let's go against your deck. Sure. That one crashes the game. Uh, hopefully it crashes you, not me. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let me leave a match here. Yeah, Rosla, let's do a. Send me an invite and we'll. We'll play what format are we playing anyway uh every time you use it the game is like literally nope and it crashes with errors <laughs> well hopefully before the crash we can um we'll see how the deck that you put in the chat okay we'll check that deck in one moment uh i'm doing the gold digging then we'll do that deck that you suggested but let's do uh Let's do, if you want to challenge me, Rosala, we'll do a, um, don't direct them to you, but how will the word of the comic, what, what's your e eBay Hell's, Hell's stash or something? What are you? Historic Brawl? Yeah, let's do uh, Historic or Historic Brawl. Hmm, let's do regular old Historic. If you want to do best of one or best of two regular Historic, yeah, challenge me on that. Let's try that out for a moment. Let's see Let's see your, your deck that will crash the system. And I'm going to regret it because it's, you know, four ofs. 
but let's um let's give it a try hell's bounty comics check them out on instagram and ebay let's do the best of three yep So we're going to see some 1v1 gameplay against the Great Rosla Streaming Network. If you haven't uh, followed them on YouTube, you should also do that. Logging in. Okay, while you're logging in then, I might do one more game. Who knows if you have an update to do, because there's been a few updates recently. So I'll get a game in while, while, you, while you set up there. And... Um, we got some good amount of viewers this time around. Thanks everyone for stopping by. We've also got a crack a pack to do a little bit later. Gonna crack a pack of the latest and the greatest set. Got a couple of deck builds we wanna do. One suggested by Mark and another one that I've got on my mind. So we got a couple of game decks to do whatnot. Really wants you to have a social following and feel invisible on Instagram. So yeah, exactly. Follow on all the platforms. Okay, we got an idyllic tutor because Golos is going to be trouble. But I go first, so that's good. Now, hopefully, they had to mulligan once, twice. Whoops. All right, they're going to have bad luck this turn, this game. So probably I will just right away not even pussy it around and I'll get the idyllic tutor right away. Hey there, Sugas4. It's been a while, I believe. Sugas, Sugas, Sugas4, etc. Apologies for not forgetting the pronunciation, but I'm doing well. Just playing some magic. Trying to school those fools on Arena with my mono white artifact deck. I have a version of this in real life that I don't play it as viciously against my real life opponents because I don't want to look them in the eye when they get sad. But here on Arena where I don't have to look at the opponent, then your password is different. Hmm. All right, well, in this case, let's get out. How about we scare them with a 7-7 seven, seven on turn, whatever um, turn I'm on. I have all the mana for Golos. So, and I have all the mana to tutor for removal. So we'll do that. Yep, so they're like, yeah, here we got Golos. All right, we'll do a gameplay one moment. Let me see if I can get rid of this opponent. So, tutor, removal, I guess I should have gotten the creature removal to scry. Seven mana to recast Golos, they have three, four, five, six, seven, oops, okay, hopefully they don't get their seventh mana, it'll probably be a tap land. Nope, arcane signet, all right. Painful Quandary. Whoops, what does that do? Whenever an opponent casts any spell, that player loses 5 life unless they discard a card. Okay, fine. I will guess I'll discard a um, land. But in the meantime... How about we do a 9 damage beatdown? I could take the damage, but how about instead we show off? Here we got we got Golos back. They missed a land drop. All right, so here's where the rubber hits the road. So. We gotta attack with that. Oh, 
All right, so what do we do here? They've got Golos out. That's always very bad. They have all the mana that they need. So what do we do here? Five mana. I'm going to have to go the Meteor Golem route, but... All right, Panharmonicon. Oh, I mean, Paradox Engine. And draw a card off of that. Lose five again. Obelisk next turn could then let me destroy Golos, but we're in trouble here. They have all the mana that they need. They got Golos on the battlefield. They're going to spin it to win it. What will they play for free? Uh, they're going to play a zero casting cost uh, Etali, but it doesn't have haste, so I think we might be okay. We're looking forward to seeing if Ecampos will not... Oops, we got a bounce spell somehow. Fine, we'll not press the concede button. <laughs> all right, we'll see. All right, well... Before that, so we got a we got an Atali to deal with. We have an Atali to deal with. So Aether Flux Reservoir isn't quite helping me, so hmm. I need to Hmm. All right, let's just draw some stuff and see what we get. Just thinking, what are my outs? Panharmonicon won't do too much at the moment. Taking five damage at a time. Um, I will deal with that when that time comes. All right, so when things die... I'm just going with an excess of mana at the moment. Not exactly sure what I'm looking forward to doing, but I'm just um, getting, just building up for shenanigans. Uh, yeah, draw me that, zero mana on that. Make a bunch of mana off of that. Well, eventually, as I keep playing a bunch of stuff, that's going to negate the 5 damage off of the painful whatever. Just making a million mana over here. I got 12 mana. I should finally 
uh, crack the, ugh, don't do that. Um, yeah, that's so far to the edge of the screen that I can't even click what I want to click. Yeah, look at that. Ah, don't do that. Let me click on my thing here. I don't want you to do that. Uh, how do I click this thing that is not in my way of the undo button? Look at that. Damn. Uh, well, let's play that to give me some more time on the rope. I'm trying to crack that one mana thing uh, to do more stuff. Okay, let's do this. Let's, um, oops, not that. Let's destroy that Atali right there. Bring back a card draw. Oh, heroic intervention. Okay, fine. Great. All right, well. Um... It's very bad. Okay. Let's... Blackblade Reforge can give me a huge blocker. Yeah, you got a 6-6. Six, six. I got an 11-11. No big deal. All right, I'm starting to gain five mana off of my casts now. So I think I'm turning the corner on that. Uh, in the meantime, maybe they'll realize that I've got a lot of shenanigans going on, so maybe they'll just rage quit. Uh, and I get a zero casting cost on that. Let's do a an assistant. Play this wellspring. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, I'm getting past their five damage now. Uh, yeah, discard a land. Oh, but I can just discard a land. Okay, even better. So, draw a card off of that. Yeah, opponent, you might figure out that maybe I've got a cool little lock going on. Ah, oh, this stupid undo button is in my way here to get my rightmost item. Is there any way that I can click on that without it? The undo button is just on top of that final card at the end there. Stupid. Anyway, uh, how about more cost reductions there? Alright, then I can finally reach over to crack that swell spring. Hey there, Gabe, how's it going? I'm just, if I don't see the chat, sorry about that, I just need to we concentrating here because the my time's running out. I'm doing so many shenanigans. Just a moment. How about we? Yeah, the. I want to get roped out. So what am I trying to do here? Ultimately, I'm trying to. This is annoying that the that I'm obviously doing actions, but then the game state thinks it's gonna rope me out, so that's annoying. Um, look at that! It's making me lose my turn, even though I am choose attackers all the time. I don't want to attack. See, it's making me lose my turns because. Yeah, it made me lose all my mana. Look at that. It made me lose all my mana because I didn't do a gameplay action. But obviously I'm doing gameplay actions, but it doesn't... Um, it doesn't... Um, look at that. I had plenty to do still, but I was... Um, I had plenty to do, but then... Uh, I had plenty to do, but it didn't let me do my actions because I was ro roping them and so I wasn't able to do anything. Use the mirror shield. Uh, oops, Genesis Ultimatum. Well, that's game over, right? 
that's game over. The, you don't play in the Genesis Ultimatum if you don't have a million amazing things. So everything's got whatever now. So fine. I'm going to play with Atali. I got an 11-10 blocker, so... So I have an incentive and then a soul shatter. Each opponent sacrifices one of them with the highest mana value. And then they're like, never mind. Well, of course I had a great time on that. There you go, opponent. You played your freaking Golos deck to cheat with five colors. How about mono white artifacts? The only version of that deck in all of Arena. So tell your friends. Thank you. Karen and you wanted to get together. Fanboy, any chance of meeting up? Um, Gabe, to be honest, you've got to be active on the Discord. We've been planning lots of times to be active, and we invite you and call you, and you never reply. So I don't even know what answer to give you. We've been through this lots of times. Check the Discord. Check your settings. I don't know what's going on. We've been doing meetups and inviting you, but I don't know. Your app is just not telling you we're doing them, so I have no answer for you. Anyway, thank you. We made it through the Vital Golos player and the um, free casts and everything. They just, I guess they thought, oh, they're just going to do a bunch of artifact stuff again. So GG opponent. Yep, GG. Because we were climbing up towards the 50 life, 51 life to zap them with an Aetherflux Reservoir. And then Soul Shatter with the highest. Which one would that have been anyway? Because I've got a 4 mana, a 2 mana, a 3 mana, a 3 mana. It wouldn't have hit the Scrap Trawler. It's only 3 mana. And then I have 2 mana. So I would have hit the 8-8, eight, eight, which wasn't even a blocker. But the 11-10, I don't know. I guess they thought, destroy your biggest creature. Nope, it's the biggest mana creature. And this is only a 3-3. Three, three, so I would still have an 11-10 blocker. And even though they got two free goalless activations, which is often a, a game winner... Two free Golos activations still did nothing. And even I was taking, how much damage did it take? I took like 20 damage, 25 damage off of that painful quandary. And I still got up to 35 life. <laughs> so yeah, mono white artifacts. All right, Rosla, let's do a, um, let's see if I don't rage quit uh, your amazing deck. So send the notification for that and we'll do a historic Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I just uh, didn't know the full story, but glad to hear that those things have been taken care of. So the um, next time we meet up, then bit mark your calendars because it's usually on a Thursday. It's usually on a Thursday, so... I went on a Saturday a couple of weeks ago and I didn't like it. I didn't stay very long because there was just a, it was just full of a bunch of kids that were coughing and I didn't really want to be there for for that. And so And so be be aware of that, that on Saturdays, Saturdays are not great. Saturdays or Sundays. If other people want to hang out, yeah, yeah, uh, check the Discord. But for me, I felt that the um, Saturdays and Sundays don't work. It's just full of too many kids. So um, Thursdays are the days. And uh, Michael is trying to set up a... Um, Michael is trying to set up uh, some time on campus. So think about that if you want to do anything on campus. All right, so rosla has got a million mana with a million different colors. What are we in store for? We got a Kenrith, very good card. Right, we pass the turn. We might be in trouble. We got a Kenrith on the battlefield that can destroy everything on my side. 
basically, I guess. But Kenrith can also do cool things, plus a bunch of different mana. Got a Demir Locket going on. Three mana. We got a Grim Tutor. Oops, we're getting tutored for something really good. So that's troubling. Probably a cool land. Tutor for a cool land. Search your library for, for any card put into your battlefield. All right. Well, how about that? Orzhov Locket. Four mana on the board. It's the infamous Ulamog. Mirror Maid. Ooh, you get to copy an artifact. All right. Cool. That does cool stuff. So does Ulamog. Look at all those amazing cards. Then what we're also going to do over here, how about we do one of these right here. And then we do minus three right here. One, two, three, right there. Ah, man, those have a, those are not colored. Whoops. Those are uh, the minus X only hits colored things. So, whoops, never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How much is that? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's eight mana. That's pretty good. So now we're going to get some really good stuff to happen, perhaps. Yeah, that was a misplay. I forgot that Ulamog doesn't hit colorless things. And we're there. Okay. All right, so game two. So what are we up against? How can we sideboard here? So we got stuff like that. Got a bunch of different colors of mana. Shark Typhoon, good card. World Tree fixes the mana. Copy stuff, get my own thing copied. We had no green mana. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, that if you had some green mana, that would definitely turn the tides. That darn shuffler. Uh, Timeless Lotus. Ooh, so you have every color of mana with a lot of... I bet there's some amazing ultimatums that are the end game, eh? All right, well, with every single card out there in the world, that is hard to... That is hard to sideboard against. So what do we want to do? How do we sideboard out... When you have every, when you have every amazing card in a deck. How do you even sideboard? Hmm. Yeah, let's sideboard that a bit. Let's sideboard thusly. I uh, need to worry about that. Probably not. Uh, let's give that a try. Try to sideboard that a little bit. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, well, on a Saturday or Sunday, that'd be fun. But then again, the game, the fullness of things in the on the weekends is is a thing all right so we got turn two on the draw for us let's scry into some good stuff need some white mana here get some rampitude going on
The prophecy has been foretold. Some Our little spirits. Truth lies beyond vision. Got some mana going on. Got a planeswalker. Got a blocker. <laughs> the the crowd is chanting for Rosla to take me out. Uh oh, looking at my artifacts. I'm gonna duplicate an artifact. Sure, comes in tapped. That's fine. How we say, uh, no more mirror maids this game, perhaps. Secrets we're gonna bind, we're gonna you. bind those mirror maids. Vivian, nice. That'll make a blocker. No, that'll destroy actually. Fine. Feel the wrath of Scala. Destroy an enchantment. Copy something. Copy a copy a mana. But that's no blockers. Okay, so Vivian is. Out for the moment. Every defeat is a new beginning. Itself, we got a new follower. Welcome with uh, I can't see the name on the game screen, but welcome uh, wizard wizard dress Krista. Welcome to this drag Wild out I like. people not so much drag down battle of <laughs> every color wine less than you <laughs> uh, this every color in the rainbow magic deck versus colorless mono white vaguely deck now we got a Vivian planeswalker a second Vivian planeswalker out on the battlefield and now we got a biogenic ooze that one's always trouble. And it made a very rude noise, but we might be okay. Now put counters on oozes. Amazing. So how about get rid of this Vivian over here. Be gone, then we go for a big old attack like this. Math is for blockers. No blocks, all right. And then we, how about we do one of these? Draw a bunch of cards. Play a land, play another critter rock. Got a slime foot. In Datha Triome to draw into something. I think we got a foretell card. I think that's a foretell card, isn't it? Uh, well, I guess at this point. My plans do not include you. Yeah, this uh, draws might not have been the best, but. Um, oops, I forgot to check the battlefield. But yeah, well, GG, but yeah, those draws didn't look that good. It's those, it was the absolute draws you've ever had. Yeah, a little bad luck there. Um, sorry to interrupt, but I was just wondering if you'd be interested in custom designs in your channel. Uh, no, thank you, but thank you for visiting. If you'd be interested, check out, etc. and such. Cool, thank you. Thank you for that advertisement. Uh, Karen and I are planning a move, so everything's been hectic, but now things are slow. Oh, that was a move. That's a big, that's a big change there. So hopefully that's smoothed out. Hopefully the cats are getting settled in. The little kitties are getting settled in then. And, um, 
and they're not freaking out too much. Remember to pack your cats properly. When you put them in the box, make sure you put adequate amount of padding. <laughs> uh, thanks for hanging out, Stevie. And uh, we got one more game going on here, so thanks for stopping by. We'll figure out about another game soon, so check on the Discord for when that will happen next. Infinite Mana deck is in Brawl, not Historic. Okay, we can do a Brawl one if you want as well. Kins are adorable. Holding such a little thing. Yes, exactly. I remember when I got my current cat and the first days on his stream, on the stream, remember he was like as big as one of my hands. And now he's a big old guy. So there's no turn one plays. I believe I don't really have any turn one plays in this deck. Oops, we got some bad luck right there without a um, play, unfortunately. Missed the land drop. Missed another land drop. Yep, the randomness is very weird at the moment, isn't it? So you, you gotta definitely play every turn or it doesn't. Yeah. Unfortunately, yep, that's the thing. Got to play every land when it's... You can't fall behind. But let's, let's try it this time here. Hopefully we get a better shuffle. The Lords of Shuffle. That's a good turn one play, definitely. That is a good um, land to start off with. Why is it pausing for priority on a land? Okay, fine. All right, let's play that, then that. Play that, then play that. No, I don't want to crack my mind stones. Uh-oh, missed the land drop. Yep, this is... Not good luck at the moment. Let's see if we don't get another bad draw. There we go. Got a land draw. Just gain a little life right here. I know more than you could learn in a fa the fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Create a blocker. We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well, uh-oh, we got another bad... Nope, we got a rubble. All right, so... <laughs> Land destruction. Gotta watch out for it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, well... Land destruction, when you're playing on these high levels, is definitely a... Um, Definitely a strategy that you need to do when you're playing for keeps. And let me demonstrate. <laughs> Sorry, that's what was it. That was what was in my hand. I had to play it. I, you know, if it's in my hand, if it's in your hand, you have to play it, right? So, um, yeah. So, land destruction can. Um, land destruction can set you back, but you know, exiling lands also can possibly set people back but uh yeah this i'm just it's just good luck this time i just curved in every time into something so the um the fact that it's your hand all the time is what kills it's it, well yeah the uh, the algorithm is it gives and it takes you want to switch over to the brawl deck you say you have an infinite an infinite mana. I want to see. I want to see that uh, infinite. Well, yeah, I want to see that infinite mana brawl deck. If you want to send in a send a challenge for that one. We 
can play one more game. Then we'll do a crack a pack. I've got a pack ready to open up here. So let's play a brawl game here. And then we will. And then we will. Um, and then we'll do a crack a pack. All right, let's try that infinite mana deck. Yeah, no problem. Sometimes the, um, oh yeah, Kinan, that one is definitely all about the... Kinan is all about the big man. Oh, I got a turn zero ley line. Oh no, we're dead. <laughs> all right, well. That ley line is just going to make a million mana, so. And now the, now the shoe is on the other foot because I'm missing my mana. We got Kinan there. Make double mana on that. Mm, yeah, my draws are not great. Is the only choice here. Hey, look at this little bat pet right there. Growing rights is very nice. That makes a lot of mana too. All right, come on, blue mana. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Let me show you what was lost. We're too way behind at the moment, but I finally got my blue mana, so... We're dead because we've got Scars the uh, Elder Gargoroth next speak. turn, so... Yeah, we're so dead. Uh, she's got all the mana she needs, so... Wilderness Reclamation, free mana off of that. Biogenic Ooze, another good one. Got a Planeswalker. Plus on Tear that. It down. Tear it all down. Yep, now we got an Itlamok tapped over, and we got all the mana untapped, so this is game over. Um, there's nothing more to do here. Um, if I did miss those land drops, we might have had a chance. And then a free Gargaroth on... Um, yeah, we're dead. And that was a misplay. So just missing all those land drops just set us far too far back. So the shoe is on the other foot. All right, so let's switch over to do a crack a pack. We haven't done one of those in a little while. So we're going to open up this brand new pack of Phyrexia. All will be one. It's a set booster. So we got a lot of fun cards in here in theory, all of the variants and the like. So let's check that out. I don't remember because they change this all the time. I don't remember which side is the correct side to look at now. But I guess we'll start on this side. So we got some cool art here and one of these full art things. And um, interesting art. 
on that. So there's a we're back on the Phyrexian. Um, we're back on the Phyrexia realm. Ooh, we got a really, really foiled out swamp. Full art swamp. Remember when these full art lands were so rare? And so we have this... One of the realms of Phyrexia or something? It's the brand new latest set that just came out, but, you know, it'll be old news in two weeks when the next set is out. But this is the latest one. Phyrexia all will be one. So it's all... Phyrexia themed. And we got a maze skull bomb. Yeah, like I said, with magic and all of that, yeah, it's a cool game and all of that, but I just have not been keeping up with it, so I don't know any of the cards that are in the new set. Uh, so, maze skull bomb. You pay one, it's an artifact. It's got really cool art. One, sacrifice this, draw a card, two, and green. Uh, so, the. That's the new Elish Norn one, right? That's not a reprint of the old one, or is that a reprint of the old one? I, I don't, I don't recall. You wrote again, so it's probably a reprint of the old one, right? That set hasn't come out in Puzzle Quest yet. Oh, that's interesting. I guess it takes longer for them to program it to Puzzle Quest, but be on the lookout. You'll get a preview of the cards. So you pay green mana. Uh, target creature you control gets plus three and gains trample. Draw a card. Activate only as a sorcery. This is what I was saying previously about also the complexity. This is a common. Back in the old day, commons weren't this complex. And that was even a big thing after Lorwyn in 2008 or 7 or something. Magic was getting very complex and they decided, let's simplify magic. Let's not have so many complex things at common, for example. But I guess that philosophy is out the window because here's a... Uh, Pretty powerful thing, although they're trying to lower the power of it a bit in that activate only as a sorcery, because obviously target creature gets plus three. If it really was like a rare or whatever, they would not put the um, sorcery speed stipulation on that because um, because it's uh, it's too much of a combat trick for people, I guess. Uh... Mazes Mantle. Mazes Mantle, three mana, flash. Sorry, let me fix my brightness on this. I thought I needed to make it a little brighter. I think it's too bright. Just one moment. Mazes Mantle, three mana, enchantment with flash. Again, here's a common. So now you're introducing the flash ability into a common enchanted creature any creature i guess your opponents as well when this enters the battlefield if enchanted creature has toxic that creature gets hex proof until end of turn Enchanted creature gets plus two yeah pretty complex pretty op stuff even at common here combat trick so this is a combat trick three mana combat trick give your creature plus two and if it's got toxic it also gets hex proof you're telling me you have so many busted decks that are just point and shoot Branch Child Stalker. Okay, so one of the things with the set boosters is they have a theme. And so far I'm seeing the theme of green. So uh, we've got Branch Blight Stalker, 2 mana, Phyrexian Elf Scout, Toxic 2. It's a 3-1. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's the brand new Oreskos Swift Clots, the classic 3-1 for two but now it has toxic two so if you don't block it it's going to deal two poison counters some vicious swarm aspirants hang motionless in the canopy for weeks allowing poisonous flowers to root into their flesh and weave tendrils through their hair sure Carnivorous Canopy, 3 mana, destroy artifact, enchantment, creature with flying. If that permanent mana value was 3 or less, proliferate. So instead of crushing Canopy, which was the destroy an artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying, now it's pushed up to then also proliferate, but if it was a small thing. So destroy their soul ring and then proliferate. Pretty sure you put that into a deck. Tamiyo's Log Book. Three mana in blue. Pay six mana. This is an uncommon. 
Draw one card. This ability costs one less to activate for each other artifact you control. This one might be fun to put into... No, it's a blue artifact. In theory, this could be a single blue mana tap draw card. If you really focus on blue artifacts. We are opening a new chapter in the one true story of Hyrexia. Someone must record it for posterity. R.I.P. Tamio. Thrumming Bird, I believe this is a reprint, right? Two mana, one one flyer. When this deals combat damage, proliferate. Here we have a Phyrexian zombie cleric in the form of the Necrogen Rot Priest. Four mana in Golgari colors. Uh, sorry, that's the old term. Wither Bloom. Toxic 2, 1, 5. Whenever a creature you control with toxic deals combat damage to a player, that player gets an additional poison counter. So if you attack with this, it's a 1, 5. If they don't block it, then they get two poisons. No, they get three poisons. But even better, if there's other poison creatures, toxic creatures, then you get more. Three mana, target creature you control with toxic gains death touch until end of turn. That's definitely a build around. Necrogen Communion. Two mana aura, enchant your creature. Enchanted enchanted creature has toxic two. When enchanted creature dies, return that card to the battlefield. So it's that one uh it's that one uh card series of cards that they love to print that when your creature dies you bring it back. But then the upside here is that then it's got toxic for only two mana. Ooh, we got one of the brand new whatever they call this style of art. They change the name every every set. A red mana Phyrexian Beast with haste. It's a 1-1. One, one. With whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put an oil counter on this. Tap, remove one oil, it deals one damage to each opponent. So that's definitely for the aggro deck. Turn one, hit him with hit the opponent with this, play some spells, put some oil, then tap it to deal the damage. Yep aggro be the blade that severs hierarchy the rare is a land my rex it's a land it's a sphere it's not legendary this sort of feels like it should be legendary right i don't know the story but my rex land sphere tap add colorless tap add one man of any color activate only if my rex enter the battlefield this turn and three and tap create a one one colorless Hyrexian might with toxic and it cannot block. So there's a whole concept of mites in this new set. They're toxic, they can't block, they're just one ones. That's cool. We got a foil annex sentry. Three mana with white. Phyrexian cleric, toxic one, one four. When this enters, exile target artifact or creature an opponent controls with mana value 3 or less until this leaves. Oh, that's interesting. So it's a, it's an exile effect on a creature with toxic. Yeah, pretty pushed. They'll never need to change the watch, for the servants of Norn are sleepless. In Seattle. Oh, look at that classic Crypt Rats from Visions. Check that out for you vintage players. This is, this is a vintage card from Visions. Three mana for a 1-1 one, one rat. But then pay X to deal damage to each creature and player. This is a this is a game winning card right here. All you need is one mana. I mean one life more than your opponent. And this will win the game because it'll deal damage to everyone. You have 11, they have 10. You pump 10 mana into this, you, you're left with one, they lose. But spend only black mana, which of course is no problem. I have this in a deck. When I got back into magic and then I was getting into commander, I made a vintage commander deck. This is in there. This is one of the win conditions. And so, yeah, make a bunch of mana. Deal damage to all creatures, so it's a board wipe and could also hit the players. Wipe the players, but make sure you've got more mana than the opponents. Once I dream, once I dreamt of death, but now it dreams of me. 
and only rats and rotting flesh can hear my silent plea. And that was Mundungu Chant. So these rats can win the game. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more allergies. Like I said earlier, that uh, I think I was feeling a little allergic and the uh, and it's kind of creeping back a little bit so we might play just a little bit longer I'm still trying to get the, the gold for today I know we, we said about building decks and all of that but uh, I've been streaming for over two hours so maybe a, a little little bit more gameplay then might wrap it up might not get to the deck building at the moment but it's on the agenda and uh we got Mono Black, Shieldred. People love that card. Because it's a pretty good card. Head off to bed. All right, have a good... Good night. All right, mono black player, got a little protection, veto, pretty good. All right, that's their combo right there. So, veto is a three mana. Yeah, let's ruin their life here because they obviously want veto to do its thing. So, how about we get rid of veto? Yeah, it might be fun to, to build it in the stream, right? So we'll do that soon enough. We got a scary old Shieldred. I'm gonna need my I'm gonna need this mana to eventually exile. Next turn. In the meantime. So, did they miss a land drop? They haven't done any removal. Yep, so they're damaging themselves because they missed a land drop. Got their land drop. Okay, two mana. Bane Hound with haste, whatever. Four, five, six. They have enough mana to recast Shieldred, but got an exile right here. I'll just recast it next turn, probably. All right, actually that six mana draw will be very nice because then I'll play Meteor Golem from that. I will hold up a blocker. Probably could have played something slightly better, but we'll hold a blocker. There's their six mana, bring back Shieldred. Yes, be greedy. Nope, Massacre Girl, fine. Scry two. They haven't done any removal, so that might be a hit there. Okay, well, this will be slower than I want. Oh, and there, it didn't block. Okay. Um, we're at 10 damage.
it was the peer into the abyss, the one that I've done before when I, when you set up the um, underworld dreams that it damages for draw cards. So then they made me draw cards, but they have Elish Norn out. So it was that sort of combo. Um, play against his opponent of Nixilis. They always. All right, good night. Three, pl three mana mythic planeswalkers are always bad, so I don't think this is going to be a good game. If they do remove my winning game piece, and then of course they have to do the the turn one Tormod's Crypt and then pass priority every single time. You're gonna make a devil. I'm yeah, the I don't wanna play against this. Join it's too much trouble. definitely that it needs to get answered right away so if i block if i attack the block with the devil the devil deals one damage to any target so i think we all forgot about that i don't even remember what you typed so it'd be better probably to not remind us what you typed because i don't even remember so we'll just enjoy the gameplay Balmore, Battle Mage Captain. Well, I've got an answer for that. Passing, they're passing with red mana open. Oh, what a surprise what they have. Well, we know what you have in your hand, so let's um, do other things. <laughs> Bobble. Well, that's interesting. Do you ever do a Mishra's Bobble on yourself? They seem to have done a Mishra's Bobble on themselves. You'll use your Lightning Bolt on that. That's fine. Okay, Borrower. Fine. I guess they think they have to use it on themselves to draw that extra card. But I guess you want to see your own card, I guess. They're going to pass with all mana. Nope, they're going to pass with a single red. Pause for priority. They still have a lightning bolt. No surprise on that. What do I... I guess if I played the four mana... Single blue. Yeah, I don't think I played the, my game here the best. Uh, I was too worried on the single red mana to hit my Oswald. The whole deck relies on Oswald. 
I feel like I'm kind of didn't manage things quite right. Now they're going to, yeah, plus one Balamore a lot. So that's going to get out of hand. Don't really have an answer for it. They're going to have annoying stuff. Expressive iteration, for example. You know how much I love slow players. I'm going to play at least one more. Well, they're out of red mana for the moment, I guess. Double red. Should have played the Paradox Engine first. Well. So today I learned that Storm can, um, Storm can apply to what the opponent also plays. So if the opponent played something and then you play your thing, that's when Storm counts there. All right, well, that's a good place to end it. We got our gold for the day. We did some gameplay. We cracked a pack. We did some 1v1s and the like. So let's end it at this point. If people enjoyed the stream and such, I would definitely appreciate people doing a super chat once in a while. You know, one whole dollar to contribute to the stream once in a while is nice. There's also the Patreon, which is also one whole dollar. So consider that, everyone. If people love these gameplays and the like, that's another way to show that you enjoy the stuff. In the meantime, thanks everyone for coming to hang out. I'll be back next time for more magic gameplay and the like.